Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're continuing our armor series and this video is Top 5 Northern Armors. So much like the Imperial one, which if you haven't seen I definitely recommend checking it out, we're going to be going through the top 5 best combinations of Northern themed armor for this game. So this is for the Sturgeon faction and while you could wear this in any faction, it just wouldn't look right if you had a, uh, say, a Kurgit running around in Northern armor. So with all that in mind, we're going to start it off at the beginning and we're going to work our way up to what is uh, what I consider to be the best and that's going to be a balance of how good is the armor in protecting you how good does it look what's the cost mostly about the protection level because that's what most of us care about but you know I, I did take appearance into careful consideration so all of these I think look very good so let's start it off with number one so at number one we have the recruit and for this one I was going with you know a pretty poor levy recruit sort of feel to it but still I think looks very good so this one, I armed with a long spear, a Norse round shield, and a northern common axe. This would be a relatively cheap loadout and pretty common in uh, Norse or Viking, you know, whatever you want to call it. Spears are a lot more common than people think they are for Vikings because they're very cheap and they're very effective weapons. So that is what I armed them with and I almost didn't give him anything on the side but then I was like, no, I better give him something at least for up close. Most people especially you know free people people that weren't uh, serfs or even uh, I would even say lots of serfs would have some sort of an axe so it's very common for someone who couldn't afford any sort of dedicated uh, weapons of war going into battle would have something like this with them whether it was a tool a hammer or something like that something they could get their hands on that if someone got too close for a uh, uh, spear they would have something still so this suit is made up of a northern nasal helmet I skipped any shoulder armor form because I wanted it to feel pretty bare bones. Uh, the northern leather tabard over mail because I just love how it looks and it fits really well with my theme here. Guarded arm wraps and ragged boots. So like I said I wanted this to feel pretty entry level. That being said this thing has a weight of 10.7 kilograms an average armor rating of 66 placing it decently low but you know it'll still protect you pretty well especially you know considering it's supposed to be for a common foot soldier and a value of 807 gold so this whole outfit is worth less than a thousand gold so that is the recruit let's move on to the next one all right and so for our second suit that we're going to be taking a look at today we have the warrior which should feel like a step up now as far as equipment goes i kept it with the same equipment as the first one uh, basically my idea of this is this is a recruit that's been on maybe a raid or two and has picked up some extra equipment from where he was but the weapons stay the same so I keep the long spear the Norse round shield and the uh, northern common axe with it but then this suit is made up of the northern lord helmet with open mail coif and I'll just ignore the fact that it says lord because for some reason a lot of stuff in this game has oddly weird labels to it but this one I feel Feels like a pretty decent helmet, but doesn't look too gaudy. Has a little bit of gold on it, but you know, looks nice. Then the rough bearskin, the leather and iron plate armor, the northern plated gloves, and the wrapped leather boots. So this one is a clear upgrade from the last one. Basically every single component to this armor is better than the last one. And we even gave him a nice bearskin to keep him warm. So this one has a weight of 17.8 kilograms, a value of 3,230 gold, and an average armor rating of 118 putting it at about double the last one. So this one is definitely an improvement armor-wise. So that is the Warrior. Let's move on to the next. All right, and so for our third one, we're hitting the middle level here, which uh, makes sense because it's the third out of five. This one here, we have what I call the Northern Soldier. So this one is supposed to be a more advanced one. This one has definitely got enough experience under his belt to have all the decent equipment that you'd expect from a Norse Raider. So this one we've equipped with a one-handed bearded axe, uh, and if you may be wondering, yes, they would have had, they could have, could have or would have had swords, but I wanted to avoid that just because it, I wanted the Norse, the Northerners to feel more unique in this one. So this one still has the Norse round shield, uh, and like I said, the one-handed bearded axe, but I equipped him with some throwing hatchets or axes uh, called Francesca for some reason. So those are real fun to use in the game, I'm a huge fan of those. So I figured that would be more than appropriate here. Uh, this one is made up of the Northern Warlord Helmet over Mail, the Wolf Shoulder, the Plated Leather Coat, the Northern Brass Bracers, and the Belted Leather Boots. So again, a noticeable improvement over basically every component from the last suit of armor. This one here has a weight of 18.8 kilograms, being only slightly heavier than the last one, a value of 4,771 gold, so it's only slightly more expensive, and an average armor rating of 142, placing it nearly 30 points higher than the last one. So that is the Soldier. 
let's move on to the next. So for our fourth one, we have the guard. And now I designed this one to not be super mobile. This one is going to be more of a, I don't know, household guard. Someone is going to be real close to people. They're going to stand guard over places so they, they can be heavy. The armor can be heavy. It just needs to protect them really well. And this is also a position for, it's not for young people. It's for older soldiers. People who can still put up a hell of a fight, but maybe don't want to be marching, you know, 40 miles uh, to do it. So for this one, we kept the loadout the same as the last one. So one-handed bearded axe, Norse round shield, and the Francesca throwing axes. And this suit is made up of the northern closed helmet, offering great protection with the whole the mail down the front and everything. That's fantastic protection. Eye holes are pretty big, but that allows for good, uh, good uh, lane of vision for him, so you can really watch out for anyone that's coming. This one comes with a full-blown bear pelt, uh, the rough fur over chain. So I just love the rugged, beaten-up look of this one. I... This one is definitely a great role playing for like an old warrior sort of feel. I love that. Uh, heavy mail buttons and the mail chasses. So let's spin that bad boy around one more time. Oh, look at that. That is so awesome. So this one has a weight of 25 kilograms right on the nose, a value of 9,901 gold, and an average armor rating of 188. So uh, that's pretty dang good being near 200. So that is the Northern Guard. Let's move on to the final suit of armor we're going to be taking a look at today. Alright, and so for number 5, we have what a lot of you, if you played Warband, may recognize as the Huskarl. So this one is basically the ultimate, uh, if you wanted to be a realistic berserker, this would be the guy. Just a beast on the field. So this one we have armed with the Northern Decorated Two-Handed Axe, which is one of the best two-handed axes in the game. Uh, just a beast of a weapon. We gave him the large round shield, which you can see is very large, covering the entirety of his back. And then, as a backup we uh, weapon, just the same bearded axe that is very common among the northern troops. So, that is what this guy is loaded up with. Heavy, heavy uh, equipment here. So, this suit is made out of the Northern Lord helmet, which is actually one of my favorite helmets in the game. I just really like how that looks. I pair it with most of my suits of armor. Uh, the armored bearskin, the decorated northern hauberk, which looks kind of funny down in the pantaloons area, but uh, it's definitely a good piece of armor. The reinforced male mitten, and the northern plate boots. So this one has a weight of 35.6 kilograms, making it one of the heaviest suits of armor that I've ever made in this game. A value of 29,518 gold, making it very expensive, and an average armor rating of 208, making it just a fantastic suit of armor. So this is the fifth and final suit of armor on this list. Uh, if you like this list, I definitely you know, would ask that you like the video. Maybe leave a comment down below if you have any pieces of armor that you like using when you're playing as an Norseman, or you like, uh, if you have any suggestions for things that you wish were added into the game or whatnot. And of course, if you haven't checked out the other ser uh, videos in the series yet, I definitely recommend checking them out now. But with all that in mind, uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.